Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Carpenter and today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to play the recorder. I mentioned in class the other day that we are going to really try and get going on recorder while we are meeting virtually because once we're in person, it'll become more difficult. We're going to have to worry about how far apart we are and whether we can take off masks. So <clears throat> I know some of you don't have a recorder yet, but that's okay. That's why I'm recording this so that when you do get one, you can watch this and learn how to play. So first of all, let's take a look at the recorder. When I look at the front of it, I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because there's two little teeny holes side by side, eight, nine holes on the very front of the recorder. And then I flip it over and there is a hole on the back as well. And that hole on the back is where we are gonna put our thumb. All right, so one of the very first things that we need to know is it's always, always, always left over right. That means your left hand is gonna go on the top of the recorder. So this is my left hand right now. If you're watching the video, your left hand is most likely on the other side. The way to tell, if you don't know, is to put your two hands up and the one that creates an L is left. So this is my left hand. So I'm gonna start with putting my thumb on the back hole and I'm putting my finger, my index finger, on the top hole. Now this note that I'm about to play is the note B. So then I'm going to put it in my mouth and while I only have my left hand on it, I'm going to kind of balance it with my right hand. I'm just barely touching the bottom. I'm not plugging this hole. I'm not grabbing it. I'm just barely balancing it so that it doesn't fall down and fall out of my mouth. When I put it in my mouth, I put just a little bit in. Now there are different schools of thought on whether or not your, your teeth should hit the top. I play the clarinet, and when I learn clarinet, your teeth are supposed to go on the top. So I'm gonna tell you that that's how I prefer to play. All right, and then coming out of my mouth, it's about a 45 degree angle. It's not up here, it's not down here. If it's up here, that's kind of like you're playing a party horn. And this is not a party horn. But one of the first ways you know it's not a party horn is because if you blow it really hard, it's gonna make a horrible noise. Listen. That's not playing the recorder, that's, that's, no. Okay, so back to the letter B, or the note B. My thumb is on the back and my finger is on the very first hole. I'm gonna balance it and I'm just gonna blow a little bit of air. That is a B. Now you ask yourself, how much air should I blow? Well, here's what I like to think of. There's two different ways to think of it. One is if you are going to go and try and fog up a mirror or a window. So you can put your hand in front of your mouth and do this exercise. If I just barely blow some really soft, warm air, that's about how much you need. Um, another image is if I have a candle and I want to blow out the candle. Actually, I'm not going to blow out the candle. I'm going to blow on it so that the flame flickers. I'm not going to go that would blow it out. I'm just gonna give it a, a very gentle stream of air. Okay, so let me do that again. I'm gonna take a, a breath in. Again, I'm balancing it down here. And that is the B. And that is the first note that we are going to play. Before we actually play this song on our recorder, let's take a look at it. We're gonna analyze it. So first of all, the song is called Walk Like a Mummy. Sounds pretty cool, right? And it has exactly one note in it, and the note is a note B. If you notice over here, it's showing you that the third line is B. If you remember back, it's every good boy on the line, so that's a B. And to play the B on the recorder, you're gonna use your first finger and your thumb on the back, just like I was just showing you. Okay, so when the song starts, it is in 4-4 four, four time. That means that there are gonna be four beats in every measure. Now, if you think way back to some things we learned in third grade, 
this symbol right here means four measures for four beat measures of rest. So when the song starts, you're going to go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And then you're going to play. Okay, some other quick review items. These notes, while yes, they are the pitch B, they're also quarter notes. A ta, those are each worth one beat. So this first measure, first set of notes right here is going to be ta, ta, ta. Oh my, what is that? Okay, that is a quarter rest. It's a rest or a pause where you don't play worth one beat. So this first measure will go ta, 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 sh. If you look at the next measure, it's the same. So these first two measures together are ta, 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 sh, ta, 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 sh. Then it gets more tricky and it's ta, sh, ta, sh. And then back to how we have it at the beginning, ta, 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 sh. This measure right here is sh, ta, ta, ta. When you're going along playing and you get to that spot, it's going to seem a little tricky. Next one again is sh, ta, 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 then sh, ta, sh, ta, 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 sh. Okay, so I have my recorder. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play through the first time this song plays. It repeats a few times. So remember, my recorder goes in my left hand, the thumb is on the back, the first finger's on the front, and that is a B. Okay, I'm gonna start the song. repeats itself. So what did we learn just now? We learned that when we play the recorder, our left hand is over our right hand. We learned that you can't blow too hard because again, it's not a party horn. Um, we sit up, our back is straight. I don't think I mentioned that. This is at about a 45 degree angle and uh, practice is the main thing. You can, um, you can practice this a lot and get better at it. So I look forward to hearing everybody playing Walk Like a Mummy. <laughs>